Uh, my name is Nick Scow. I'm the author of Orange Sunshine, the Brotherhood of Eternal Love and its quest to spread peace, love, and acid to the world. It's a beautiful day here in Laguna Beach, and uh, we're going to be taking a quick tour of uh, the various spots that were pretty uh, central to the hippie scene in Laguna during the 1960s, and in particular to the Brotherhood of Eternal Love story. We are at the uh, former location of Mystic Arts World, which was the headquarters of the Laguna Beach-based uh, Brotherhood of Eternal Love. It opened uh, right after the Summer of Love in 1967 here at 670 South Coast Highway in Laguna. The Brotherhood of Eternal Love was selling everything from tie-dye shirts and Indian blankets and Afghan blankets to metaphysical books, uh, incense, beads. Uh, there was even like an organic uh, juice bar here, I believe. It was sort of a uh, kaleidoscope of countercultural uh, material that you could find here at Mr. Gart's World, and it helped establish Laguna Beach as sort of the uh, epicenter of the hippie scene. Uh, it had the reputation of being sort of a maze. The police would chase people from across the street at Taco Bell, which is still standing, and uh, was known as a place where people from as far away as San Diego and Glendale would show up looking for orange sunshine acid. Cops would just sort of stake that area out and people would make a run for Mr. Gart's world and disappear into the store and they'd lose track of them there. We are uh, right now at the entrance to uh, Dodge City. This spot was really notorious because uh, the police knew that there was something going on here. They knew that there were a lot of uh, uh, LSD dealers that were living in the houses here, but they would raid probably once a week and miraculously everything would disappear under the floorboards or into stashes in the hills. The uh, most dedicated police officer at that time was Neil Purcell and it was uh, December 26, uh, 1968, about 11 o'clock at night when uh, Purcell, who had just made a run up along the beach, decided to turn up Laguna Canyon Road and make a right here on Woodland to sort of hang out and, and there was a uh, station wagon kind of parked almost in the middle of the street here that had its headlights on basically blinding him. But in the front seat was uh, Timothy Leary and his wife, Rosemary, and they were arguing, and he could smell marijuana, and uh, so he arrested Leary. We are at the very exact location of the infamous Laguna Beach Christmas happening, which is also called the Gathering of the Tribes. Uh, on December 25th through 28th, 1970, uh, there was a huge rock concert, a festival. There was about 30,000 people showed up for this show, and uh, babies were born up here. I don't think anyone passed away, but basically the cops realized very quickly that they didn't have a handle on this thing. Nobody had a handle on it. The concert is actually how the Brotherhood sort of became known to a lot of people uh, by virtue of the fact that they dumped a bunch of orange sunshine acid out of the back of an airplane and dropped it over the crowd at this concert. Uh, the cops just decided rather than try to you know, uh, cause a huge confrontation, they were going to let everybody into the show that wanted to go but they asked them to please turn over their contraband. And so the uh, entrances to this show were full of trash barrels, full of uh, various types of drugs. And the rumor is, is that buried around somewhere here is a huge stash of paraphernalia. Laguna's never been the same since.